Hi, today we're going to be talking about roofing nail guns, and in fact, my favorite roofing nail gun, the Boss Ditch RN 46-1. I have a big reason why I love this particular brand of guns. You know, Boss Ditch, DeWalt, and Porter Cable all are involved in, the, in that kind of conglomerate area. If you have a problem with your gun, in my local area, you take it down to the repair shop, you give them 60 bucks, they rebuild the whole gun for you. To me, that's huge. If I have a problem with a gun, I don't want to be spending $300 to get a $300 gun fixed. And sometimes just the parts alone, if you're going to rebuild it yourself, are going to cost you 100 bucks. You know, I took an importer cable gun that, you know, was blown up, and I'd used it too much, and abused it and everything else, and they rebuilt it all for $60. It would have cost me over $100 just for the parts. So... Just staying that aside, kind of some of the great features on the gun. One, it has a trigger lockout, which basically means it will not allow me to pull the trigger if I don't have any rounds or I'm down to like three or four rounds in the gun. So it won't allow me to break drivers. Second of all, the loading sequence on the gun. So I can open up the whole entire chamber and load it without having to have double doors. That's why I like this particular gun over all the other guns I've ever had. And I've had tons of different guns. You drop them in. Um, it also has an adjustable shuttle here, which can be you know twisted and brought up and down for different size nails. This one only has two spots, which is kind of nice. You only have to worry about anything above inch and a quarter and anything below inch and a quarter. So you'd only set it twice, which is really nice. Once you got it in there, you lock it in, close your door, the whole thing loads with one door. I love that. Okay, now the next thing I really like is the idea of instead of having a little thumb knob, you've got to move up and down if you're wearing gloves. It's a twist. So it just twists for longer or going deeper into the stuff or farther down. So that's pretty much what it is. It's going to allow me to go deeper or shallower. Real simple, you know, kind of thing here. And it has about six different positions. So you just got to find so you don't get blow through on your deck and you're not changing the air pressure in your guns all day long. So I really like that. If you're getting into an older spot of the roof, maybe the decking's a little harder. One little notch, you're back shooting again. So definitely like that. I love this flat nose, okay? I can sit there and bump it right up against the, the shingles. I know that when I'm sitting there, if I want to set my next row of shingles, I can put it right there, drop my next row of shingles on there, and not have to let go of my gun so my gun's not sliding off the roof. Definitely something I like. Okay, I'll tell you that much right now. The uh, gun itself also has an easy adjust on the bottom for your different heights of deck, so, or different heights of shingles. So if you need spacing at, let's say you're doing three tab shingles and you need three or you know five inches or whatever it would be on that particular shingle, you set it, and I found it to actually be pretty close on the dial here. It actually has a little gauge on the bottom. So this particular one I'm going to set to 6 because that's how far I want my next shingle to be off because we're going to use architectural shingles. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot along. These shoot really great. Not a lot of kickback, not a lot of vibration because they're magnesium. About 4 pounds and 6 ounces. So something to think about here. So we're going to go ahead. You know, and if I feel that that's not driving them deep enough, I just go ahead, take it back a notch, and we go ahead and set our next row. Now, normally, instead of measuring, I like to use the gun as my measurement for my next row. So I'm going to go ahead, set my shingles, and like I said, what I like is that flat tip so that I can just bump it up against there, and I know exactly where my offset is when I'm doing my steps. The other thing is, like I said, is nice, is that I can sit here and I can go here and I can set it for my nail placement if nail placement's more important to you. This particular shingle has a little spot that allows me to be able to see it, so it's not a big deal here. I'm gonna go ahead, you know, knock her through, throw up my next shingle for my step, and go ahead and slide it in. I know exactly it's gonna be six inches every time. Okay, and I can also, like I said, I can sit there and set my tip right here on the shingle and set my last stage and know that I don't have to use both hands to get a perfect reveal. So I can do that. Then I'll go ahead and slide in here, get it there, 
go ahead and I can sit there and hit the same reveal every single time. As you can see, guns don't use much air, um, easy to oil, they run all day long. I don't have any problems with them. They are only one direction ejection, which is out the front. I tend that that doesn't really bother me because I most of the time have the gun facing away from me. Uh, some of the guns have the adjustable exhaust on top. I've never seen that as a problem besides dropping and breaking. So definitely think about that. It does have dual bumpers on both sides, meaning a rubber bumper on top and bottom. So when it's on the roof, it tends not to slide and it's on both sides. So bob, top and bottom, both replaceable, easy to fix. Um, I can't really say much else. I mean, the guns, the other thing that's kind of nice is the gun does shoot just fine if you're going to do it sequential and just pull the trigger. I've had other guns that tend not to like that. They actually like bump firing better. This particular gun allows you, they're just super nice. I am shooting inch and a half staple or nails here. I'm not, I've never had any problems with it, even going into where you're going directly into the plywood here. They shoot plenty fast. You can shoot all day long faster than I think anybody could put in shingles. This gun will hold up to that. They're yellow. Makes them easy to find when you drop them off in the bushes. Um, you know, I can't say enough good things about it. It's simple. It's easy. The one problem I would like them to fix if they were to fix anything is this bottom rail here where your measurer is if they made that out of metal I would like that and I've seen some of the guns that are clear on top I tend to see those break a lot but I do like the fact where you've got a nice open chamber here so you can see if you're running out of nails see if everything's working um, I run my guns right around the 100 psi range they tend to run all the way down to about 75 so if you need them to run lower, just set them lower and they'll work just fine. So uh, like, share, and leave comments at the bottom. I haven't seen a lot of videos on this, so if you guys leave comments and want to know a little bit more about it, something I left out about it, definitely hit me up. I see them going for anywhere from about the 350 ish range to about $300. And uh, you can get them used right around the, let the car go by. Right around the 200, uh, right around the 150 to 200 dollar range for fairly new guns. So something to think about if you're going to buy something used. It's always a, a give me, but like I said, they do back them up really well, and they take care of you if you have.